Hey guys, so before watching the video, I just want to tell you guys that this method won't work on laptop. You need to have a monitor. Even if you're on laptop, you just need to have a monitor. It won't work and it will mess up your laptop. So just don't do it if you have a laptop. It's only for PC or a laptop with a monitor. And yeah, uh, everything is uh, mentioned properly. Follow the steps exactly and it will work. So yeah, thank you. Hey, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'll be sh showing you guys how to get the stretchers without any delay. So everyone is asking me in the comments to make a video about this as well. So uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. So for that, you'll need CRU, Custom Resolution Utility, and all this. So I'll show you guys how to download it. Just go on Google, CRU, download, and go on this link uh custom position utility i'll put the link in the description so yeah so go and download and go click any one of these and you can just download it and see download in like four seconds so you can do that uh, i don't need it so so double click on cru and select your active monitor which you're using right now so as you can see i have my second one which is my laptop and yeah so just click on this one lg which is my monitor go here click none and delete all once delete all and add a 1920 by 1080 that's it and then you go here and then you can delete all four don't delete the data blocks you need the data blocks uh, and go on 19, 20, 20, 20. It's only like if you have any other position, delete it all and like just or you can delete this as, as well. And I'll show you how to do it. Go here and type whichever stretches you want. And um, I need 1780 by 1080. Uh, and this is a very important part. So over here, you need to uh, put your hertz, uh, which the monitor has refresh rate. I'm on 75, but I can't put 75 after put 74 hertz because when I put 75 and after I restart it, it doesn't work. Like my, it just goes blank. I can't see anything. So it might happen for some of you guys. It should not happen, but it might happen for some of you. So just keep in mind. You can try it, and after you after you restart it, just will be back black screen. Don't turn off your PC. Don't do anything. It'll, re, it'll reset again. So don't worry about that. Just go here, put 74, or you can put 74.5 if any one of you guys want 75 hertz. Just put 74.5 if you guys want that. I'm going on 74 hertz. That's it. Click OK. And uh, after that, you can click on rest double click restart 64, but I can't because I'm recording. And if I do that, my graphic uh, my graphic uh, graphic card will restart. So my recording will run. And I'm recording with GeForce Experience. So yeah. But before that, uh, I, I will show you guys that how like you put stretches before this in a second so you can see go and uh, adjust desktop size and position and you can see your performance scaling is on display when you do like the old way like the normal way it is on like you go here and press customize and you put your resolution and you do that it, it's like gpu scaling on that and which gives you a lot of delay and i'll show you guys on settings display uh, go here you can see active scaling mode is 1920 by 1080. When you do that, like when you put, like when you change the resolution through the NVIDIA control panel, it will be on like 19, uh, 1920 by 1080 and your desktop mode will be on your stretchers. That's the reason it gives you a lot of delay. But if you want to get the same, you need to have, you need to follow this method which I showed you guys. So yeah. And one more thing to note that you cannot do this on a laptop. You need to have a monitor for this. So if you're doing it on a laptop, it won't work. It just won't work. So that's it. I'm going to cut the recording now. And I'll show you guys after I restart it. So guys, uh, I just restarted this. Uh, so now you guys have to go on your settings after you've done everything. Go on display and go down go on advanced okay and now click on display adapter properties and you can go here go on list all modes now search for whichever stretches you put and uh, as you can see i put 1720 by 1780 by 1080 which is on 74 hosts right now just go and click apply now your screen might go like might go black for a second don't worry it'll come back if it doesn't just don't do anything wait for it and it's going to come back automatically and it'll just be normal 
so as you can see now my this desktop mode is on 1780 by 1080 and my active signal mode is also on 1780 by 1080 and if i show you guys on my nvidia control panel you can see it's still on display scaling yes and it 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 might not work for some of you guys just go on display again like just some gpu go on display it should work if it doesn't restart your pc click uh like go and see how you do it again it might happen for you it happened for me like when i did it first time so don't worry about that that's it and yeah so now i'll show you guys uh how it works in fortnite as well but before that you need to press uh windows uh, windows key and r and press local app data okay and go in your fortnite game saved config windows client game user settings so uncheck read only go on properly uncheck read only and go here and you can scroll down go down go down go down and you can see 1780 by 1080 change this if it's not done just change it well, this might be there it's okay you don't need to change this but if you want you can change it i'll change it just in a second 1080 1080 yeah. that's it so yeah go here click save close this if you want you can put it back on read only if you don't don't do it i don't do it mostly uh so yeah now you can launch fortnite let's go i just ordered on fortnite and you can go in your settings and see it's 1780 by 1080 yeah so when you do the old way the, the, the normal way to stretch us it will be 1920 by 1080 and everything and when you click like this and you click apply it will go on your normal native res 1920 by 1080 so yeah it won't happen with this so don't worry you can just tap or you could do anything so that's one benefit about this you can see i'll just go on creative and show you guys that it is actually stretched you can see from a monitor as well like from the game as well it is actually stretched you can apply any stretches you want anything will work just keep in mind of the laptop and the monitor so yeah you need a monitor even though in the laptop you just need a monitor don't worry about it it's gonna be fine okay so guys you can see i'm created right now on oh, yeah see it's 1780 by 1080 yep there is absolutely no delay trust me guys I'm not really playing like you know. Show you some editing. And I also do an FPS test. Let's see it. Um, this is so good. Yeah, it actually feels so nice. It's like almost 90, 20 by 1080. Like, the quality is the same. Like, you can see, there's no, it's not pixelated at all. Really good. There's no delay. Everyone's been asking in my comments which keyboard do I use. It's GK61 with brown switches. All my peripherals and all my my PC specs are in the description. You can just check it out. And make sure to press that. It's pretty good. So just let you guys guess test. It's on like 620. You can go to sky, you can down. 660, it almost just went to. 640, yep. 645. So on 1920 by 1080, I used to get like around 590, 600, max 600, and it went. Um, and also, even on like 1600 by 900, it was the same, exactly the same. So stretchers, the stretchers will obviously give you more FPS. And if you want to look for like a better stretchers, like if you want a bit more stretch, it's 1680 by 1050. And that will give you like around 20 FPS more compared to this. 
and if you have if you have like complete like shit PC like uh, not completely like a uh, 1050 or uh, i5 i5 9 gen or i10 9 gen you get more FPS on 16 80 by 1050 compared to 19 by 1080. So, yeah. It does matter with your uh, the graphic card as well, like you know, if you have like a really good graphic card, if you can, if you want to play on like a good quality of stretch, you can see everything from far away. This is stretch, stress, trust me, guys. And if you guys want like a bit, a bit bad, but like your FPS should be good as well, then it's 16 by 1050, best for comp as well. Trust me, I've played on 16 by 1050 for like a whole season. And even on 1600 by 900, and trust me, it is really good. So, I mean, 16 by 1050 and 16 by 900 don't have any difference, like, you see, like, the view distance or pixelated, it doesn't have any difference, barely any, it's not even that noticeable. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And, yeah, peace.